Hey guys, this is the start of a video series about mechanics of Age of Empires 2 HD. Generally, I will only cover the latest version of the game, so currently the expansion Rise of the Rajas, patch 5.8. This video is all about time in Age of Empires. As most of you probably know, on websites like ageofempires.fandom.com or on YouTube channels like the one of Spirit of the Law, a unit's movement speed is often specified in tiles per second. Just for the ones who don't know, the measuring unit for distances in Age of Empires isn't meters or feet, distances are measured in tiles. By using the alignment grid mod, you can make these tiles visible. Each of the small squares on the grass here is one tile. Just as a unit speed is measured in tiles per second, a villager's gathering speed of resources is specified in resources per second. For example, a villager's movement speed is stated as 0.8 tiles per second, a villager's forage rate is stated as 0.31 foot per second, a villager's creation time is stated as 25 seconds, and a relic's gold generation rate is stated as 0.5 gold per second. However, if you try to verify these numbers in practice, you will very likely get different numbers. In this example here, you can clearly see that the villager is moving faster than 0.8 tiles per second. Actually, it's covering more than one entire tile per second. This is because one second in reality is only equivalent to one second in Age of Empires 2 if the game speed is set to slow. And since I've never seen any player playing or hosting a game with game speed slow, the stated numbers shouldn't be correct for the vast majority of the players. So, how long is one in-game second in reality? As mentioned, this depends on the game speed. With game speed low, one in-game second is equivalent to one second in reality. With game speed normal, the most common setting in online games, one in-game second is equivalent to 0.666 seconds in reality. And with game speed fast, one in-game second is equivalent to 0.5 seconds in reality. This means that with game speed normal, time passes 50% faster than with game speed slow. And with game speed fast, time passes 100% faster or double as fast as with game speed slow. Or from the perspective of the vast majority of the players, game speed slow is 33% slower than game speed normal, and game speed fast is 33% faster than game speed normal. So whenever you see a movement speed or gathering rate information like the villager moving with a speed of 0.8 tiles per second, foraging with a rate of 0.31 foot per second, or the relic producing 0.5 gold per second, you actually have to multiply these values by 1.5 to get a real-time value. So even though Spirit of the Law explained in his video about map sizes, linked in the description under this video, that the walking time of a Dark Age villager along the edge of a tiny map is 2 minutes and 30 seconds or 150 seconds, this is actually not the real time a villager needs to cover this distance for all normal speed games. For the 120 tiles of a tiny map it takes him 150 seconds on game speed slow, 100 seconds on game speed normal and 75 seconds on game speed fast. Likewise, a villager forages with a speed of 0.465 foot per second on game speed normal, a villager's creation time is 16.66 seconds, and a relic generates gold with a rate of 0.75 gold per second. Also in the statistic or achievement report at the end of each game you can see the duration of the game you've just played, both at the top right corner and within the timeline section. But actually if it says something like 60 minutes, it's 40 minutes, because you have to divide it by 1.5 in case you were playing on game speed normal, or by 2 if you were playing on game speed fast. And there is yet another time unit in Age of Empires 2, which you usually encounter when a player successfully constructs a wonder or collects all relics. Yes. No matter which game speed you are playing with, one year is always equivalent to 5 in-game seconds. That means, on game speed slow, one year is equivalent to 5 real-time seconds, on game speed normal, one year is equivalent to 3.33 real-time seconds, and on game speed fast, one year is equivalent to 2.5 real-time seconds. So whenever a player finishes constructing a wonder or collecting all relics on the map on game speed normal, and the 200 years countdown timer starts, all enemies have 200 times 3.33 real time seconds, so 666 seconds or 11 minutes and 6 seconds to destroy the Wonder or one of the hallowed monasteries. Likewise, it is 1000 seconds on game speed slow and 500 seconds on game speed fast. Actually, the information that 5 in game seconds are equivalent to 1 year gives us some further insights into the world of Age of Empires. A villager leaving the town center the first time in his life is between 4 and 5 years old. It takes 700 years for one lonely villager to construct a wonder. One archer has to fire arrows at a stone castle for 1920 years until it collapses under the weight of the arrows. It takes 75 years for one villager to gather the berries of one forage bush. 
A skirmisher has to throw spears at an elephant for 361 years until the elephant dies, in case it didn't die of old age first. An archer is lucky to fire three arrows in one year, and thumpering reduces an archer's reload time by 22 days, from 148 days to 126 days. And of course, after a Turkish cannon galleon fires a cannonball, it is 1.85 years in the air before it hits the target. So I hope this video brought a bit more insight into the AOE time system and the different game speeds. If you have any notes to this video or advice for future videos, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.